Danny Segura with MMA Junkie. I'm here with Evander Holyfield, who's getting ready to return to the ring against Vitor Velfort on September 11th. Evander, um, I know I recently spoke to you, but how's, how's this experience been going? I know you're kind of getting into fight week now. You were at the open workouts. Now you did some media today. Uh, are you kind of enjoying being back in, in, in the swing of things? Well, uh, I wouldn't say enjoy. You know, it's, it, this, you know, answering the question, like fighting is what I do. Yeah. And I get this here. That's one of the things that I, I ain't really, I, I just, you do it because this is the only way you go, people going to get to know. You you speak because right. you have to. If you don't, then you, you know, have a relationship with the fans. Yeah, definitely media, uh, a big part of the, the sport. Uh, do you feel like the media has changed a lot uh, over the years? I mean, certainly like the internet has, um, you know, revolutionized everything and sort of sped things up. Um, how, how would you compare when you were fighting, you know, in, in, in the 90s to, to the media today? Well, if I had the media back today, I, you know, I've been, I've been booming because, you know, it, they talk more and, yeah. you know, they give, you know, you know when, you, when you're the very best and the media get behind you, it makes you even larger. Yeah, for sure. Um, I mean, you, you were a superstar, you know, you still are, obviously. Um, could you imagine if, if your career would have taken place today, how much different would it be because of um, the way media works nowadays? Well, it could be great, but then again, then again, you know, I guess when things are good, it, it's something else is pulling pulling another way. And, you know, maybe maybe I could have got distracted more. Right. Because, you know, you know I, 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 but for all the things and how things happen today and how quick you get around, you know what? You can you can get your whole career messed up. Oh, certainly. Um, and you told me yesterday that uh, you didn't know a whole lot of, about Vitor. Um, obviously, he doesn't have a, a long track record in, in boxing. So I was curious, did you get to see his open workout and, and check him out a little bit um, since we spoke? No, no, I, I didn't do that. I, I'm you know, at at some point in time, you you don't look to somebody else to say how good you are. You have to look within yourself to say. If I don't make the mistakes, you know, because mistakes is what causes you to fail, and, you know. So, if I do, I do what I'm supposed to do. I'm like, it, sh it shouldn't be hard. Yeah. If I do what I'm supposed to do, yeah. and that means that he counted in the things that I'm supposed to do. So I just got to do it before he do it. Certainly, and uh, I talked to him yesterday. He told me he expects to be around like 203, 204 pounds. Just curious, uh, what what weight could we expect you uh, on Saturday night? Uh, about two, 220, 223, 224, something like that. Okay, nice. And um, you know, there's also some some breaking news as well this week with uh, Donald Trump being in the uh, alternative commentating uh, side of things. Um, what what do you make of that? I mean, pretty pretty crazy, right? Like you didn't know you were fighting what, a week and a, a week ago, really, and, and now you're fighting. Donald Trump is in the car. The car got moved to Florida. I mean, uh, pretty crazy, right? Well, I don't know if you call that crazy. I don't I don't know. <laughs> but it's, it's it's a nice thing. It's very selling you have the president, you know, speaking on that behalf. Yeah. Um, do you have any relationship with uh, Donald Trump? I know I've seen pictures of you like in the past because he's always been a, a huge fight fan. But uh, I was wondering if uh, you guys are friends or you guys talk or anything. Well, like no, no, he, no, he he'd been great for the sport. And I'm telling you, you know, I'm, I'm practically until he became president. And you know, when, you, when the man the president, you know, you respect the president. Yeah, certainly. And uh, a lot's been made also as well as uh, about a potential fight with Mike Tyson. Obviously, that was what, what was originally discussed. Um, do you think that fight will ever happen? There's a great chance that it could. I'm thinking, you know, you know, with the hype that y'all have, and he says, you just got to throw more money in there. I'm thinking, you know, baby, I ain't giving enough money. You know, you, you know, you got the money, so come up with the money. It's the way he want to do it. Yeah. Do you guys talk? Yeah, yeah, we, we talk. What does he say? Well, you know, right now, we're not talking. And so somebody else between same way somebody else get in between you, then all of a sudden you can hear things and it's not you know, I don't think you get the whole truth with, with other people in, in the middle of everything. Yeah. Would you say that out of all the fights available out there, that's the one that you want the most? Well, that's the only reason that's the only reason I even you know, that's the only reason I even came to the point to, oh, you know, you wanna do this. But that's the only reason, because because I knew that 
they were offering something that, you know, as a, you know, if I fought my whole career and and I could make more money on a on a comeback and then I made my whole career. I'm telling you, who wouldn't who wouldn't take that chance? Yeah, certainly. Uh, so it was you were offered a big money for for that fight. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Why, why don't you think he he's into it? Because obviously it'd, it'd be a huge fight. Why well, you know he you know you know he got some situation that he had, you know everybody got situation in their life and stuff like that. And I think the truth is that when when he find the truth, then he'll find out how much it was. And and then he, then he, he can make it make up his mind that he'll feel just like I feel because in a situation like that I I don't think there's no losers. Yeah. And what did you make of his comeback against uh, Roy Jones Jr.? I, I said it was good because people asked me about it. Said they said what do you think? I said well you know I, I said like, I'm like I ain't that I said I ain't never fought at that age. How I'ma look. I can't sit here and talk about somebody when I don't know how good I'm gonna look, but we'll know after this fight. Yeah, certainly. Yeah. Um and, and so far, like in training and all that, uh, how has your body felt and how have you felt in, in there? Do you feel uh good? Do you feel much different than, than you did when you were last fighting at forty eight? I'm I'm a lot better. I'm a lot I'm a lot better than uh then I've been in a while. In the two years, it took two. It took actually two years to really get the confidence that I got now. I'm like, yeah, you know, it took two years because I, I didn't, I didn't. I was like, I was, I kind of bombed out to myself. Yeah. All right, Vander. Well, best of luck on Saturday night. Looking forward to your fight against Vito. Okay. Thank you. All right.